Today we're gonna make spaghetti alla Nerano. My grandmother growing up would make a version of this uh, probably a hundred times, maybe 200 times in my lifetime. Really besides Sunday sauce and pasta vajole, the one dish that she would probably make the most would be this. Now she'd always be frying up zucchini and you always wanna to try to get zucchini that are pretty much on the small side like this. These really big ones have a lot of seeds. A lot of times she would just leave it on the side, let them drain on paper towels, dust them with some cheese or she'd put them in pasta. Now she never called it spaghetti alla Nerano, she just called it spaghetti with seared zucchini. So this is cacio cavallo cheese and it's a good substitute. I'd probably go on a limb here and say most of you aren't gonna be able to find this one either. So one that you will be able to find will be pecorino romano cheese. And this is a good one because we're essentially making cacio pepe with seared zucchini here. So we have our zucchini, our garlic, and our parsley prepped. And last thing we gotta do is grate the cheese. The written description will be for a pound of pasta. I'm gonna do a half a pound of pasta right now. Everything's down below, so don't worry about it. You kind of eyeball all of this. It doesn't really matter. I have, I'd say about a cup there, maybe maybe a little bit less. Use your largest pan you have. The, if this is a 14 inch pan right here and even for a half pound of pasta, it's still gonna take probably two batches, maybe three, because we cut the zucchini very thin. You, you don't wanna overcrowd it. You wanna get these fried up really, really nicely. I have a stainless steel pan here. I'm gonna let it heat up for about three minutes on medium low. While that's heating up, get a large sheet pan, anything big surface and put paper towels there. When they're finished, we're gonna put them on the paper towels, gonna let them drain a little bit and we're gonna salt them right away. By doing that, it makes them taste delicious. And you know, you could just eat them like that, but we're making the full alla Nerano here. I basically did two batches, one batch here, one batch here. It's very brown, maybe a little burnt on the bottom. If you want to reuse that same pan, make sure you clean it off first. I recommend you clean it off. You don't have to, but I think it's a good idea. I don't need this pan. I'm just gonna use a simple 12 inch fry pan. My water has come to a boil. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of kosher salt in there and, or three, doesn't matter, and get the spaghetti in there. Give that a little stir just so it doesn't stick at all. No oil in the water though. And then turn the heat here to medium low. I'm gonna do a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm using extra virgin, the good stuff. You don't have to, you can use regular olive oil. You gotta work within your budget, what you can afford, what you feel comfortable using. Here's the cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna put them in whole. We're gonna let them get lightly golden and then we're gonna take them out. Okay, so the garlic is Getting lightly golden in here. You can see that? You could save them for another purpose. Do it whatever you want with it. And I'm gonna put about half of the zucchini in here. That smells amazing right now. It smells so good, that zucchini. Gonna take a little bit of pasta water. You can take your spoon, your wooden spoon, and just start mashing up the zucchini. Turn the heat up, about medium. And just try to break them up a little bit and just keep mashing it up. 
You could put more pasta water in if you start, if you don't have enough liquid in there. And you don't have to do this. You don't have to mush it. You can just kind of leave them all whole too. There's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. I'm turning the heat back down. It's very mushed up now. And you can pull it wet because we need a little bit of liquid here. We need a little bit more of that pasta water. If you do use a colander, make sure you save your pasta water. And that needs a little bit more liquid right away. So you can flip it if you want. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just mix it very fast. You want to emulsify kind of that pasta water, the olive oil, and the zucchini together. And then taste your pasta because it's not done yet, but you want to still keep it al dente. And then when it gets towards done, we're gonna turn off the heat and we'll put the cheese in and then we'll flip. If you want a little bit of pepper, you could put that in too. It's nice and al dente. I'm gonna turn it off. Probably gonna need a tiny bit more liquid. Get our cheese in the cacciacavallo. Very, very, uh, a lot of cheese there and put a little bit more liquid. Make sure that the salt and everything is perfect. If it dries out for you and the cheese starts clumping. All you have to do is add more pasta water. And believe it or not, when it cools down and you add your pasta water back in, that's when it will come together and you won't have any clumping. I actually saw a video, they were making cacio pepe in Rome and they were mixing it with, uh, with cold water. You could use your tweezers or you can uh, just use tongs. My father-in-law remarried. His father-in-law is uh, from Italy, moved here when he was like 40. He has a lot of family there still. And he would come back here. And one year he brought like 50 of those provolones back on a plane. We got a few of them. We had them and they, you know, they were delicious. And then he would try to do favors for his family members in Italy. So he would get Maine lobsters live. And he, and he tried to get them on the plane one time. And he was like 90 years old when he did this. And of course he lost all the lobsters at that point. But he would just try crazy things like that. I don't think you're missing anything by not using it <clears throat> and using cacio cavallo instead. I think it's great that way too.